and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali and today we're going to be reacting to Bridget Gabriel gives brilliant answer about the peace Muslim majority. Yes. So we've done a few different things and um, uh, you know with India with Jammu and Kashmir and Article 370 and 35A and we've just we've always talked about you know country comes first above all else and um, you know everybody doesn't have to agree with everything but your country needs to come first and you need to support your country you know said guru said if you don't know where your borders are this is why we're having so many issues you know people need to know you know where define your border and so this is india and that's the end of that so you know this is really we've been you know talking peace on our channel we've been talking about you know it doesn't matter your race, your color, your religion, you know, your country comes first. And uh, some of the other things we've done, which uh, Syed Akribardin's speech uh, on yeah. the UN, um, amazing, amazing. Um, he's doing such an awesome job. And we just recently did Muhammad um, talking about how proud he is to be an Indian. And that's the stuff we love to hear. It shouldn't matter, you know, that's what makes India's diversity and what makes India great is its strength and its diversity. And we've always said that on this channel. And so we're excited to watch about uh, what Gabe, Bridget Gabriel has to say. So let's start it up. Yes. Asalaamu Alaikum. Peace to you all. My name is Saba Ahmed. I'm a law student at American University. I am here to ask you a simple question. I know that we portray Islam and all Muslims as bad, but there's 1.8 billion Muslim followers of Islam. We have 8 million plus Muslim Americans in this country, and I don't see them represented here. But my question is, how can we fight an ideological war with weapons? How can we ever end this war? The jihadist ideology that you talk about, it's an ideology. How can you ever win this thing if you don't address it ideologically? Great question. I am so glad you're here and I am so glad you brought that up because, us, because it gives us an opportunity to answer. What I find so amazing is since the beginning of this panel, which we are here about Benghazi attack against our people, not one person mentioned Muslims. We are here against Islam or we're launching war against Muslims. We are here to discuss how four Americans died and what our government is doing. Right. We were not here to bash Muslims. You were the one who brought up the issue about most Muslims, not us. And since you brought it up, allow me to elaborate with my answer. There are 1.2 billion Muslims in the world today. Of course not all of them are radicals. The majority exactly. of them are peaceful yeah. people. The radicals are estimated to be between 15 to 25 percent according to all intelligence services around the world. That leaves 75 percent of them peaceful people. But when you look at 15 to 25 percent of the world Muslim population, you're looking at 180 million to 300 million people dedicated to the destruction wow. of Western civilization. Wow, that is as big of the United States. So why should we worry about the radicals 15 to 25 percent? Because it is the radicals yeah. that kill. Because it is the radicals that behead and massacre. When you look throughout history, when you look at all the lessons of history, most Germans were peaceful, yet the Nazis drove the agenda. And as a result, 60 million people it's died, crazy. almost uh, 14 million in concentration camps, 6 million were Jews. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at Russia, most Russians were peaceful as well. Yet the Russians were able to kill 20 million people. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at China, for example, most Chinese were peaceful as well. Yet the Chinese were able to kill 70 million people. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. When you look at Japan prior to World War II, most Japanese were peaceful as well. Yet Japan was able to butcher its way across Southeast Asia, killing 12 million people, mostly killed with bayonets and shovels. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. On September 11th in the United States, we had 2.3 million Arab Muslims living in the United States. 
It took 19 hijackers, 19 radicals to bring America down to its knees, destroy the World Trade Center, mm-hmm. attack the Pentagon, and, and kill almost 3,000 Americans that day. The peaceful majority were irrelevant. So for all our powers of reasons and us talking about moderate and peaceful Muslims, I'm glad you're here. But where are the others speaking out? And since you are the only Muslim representative, <laughs> Muslim representative in here, you took the limelight instead of speaking about why our government, and I assume, are you an American? You're an American citizen. So as an American citizen, you sat in this room and instead of standing up and saying a question or asking something about our four Americans that died and what our government is doing to correct the problem, you stood there to make a point about peaceful, moderate Muslims. I wish you brought 10 with you to question about what, how we can hold our government responsible. It is time we take political correctness and throw it in the garbage where it belongs and stop calling it. She had some really great points and stuff that I had never really thought about. Um, you know, the Nazis with the, the Jews, that really blew my mind that they were not the majority you know and and she used some other country examples like it's not the majority of the people we worry about it's these radicals that come from all over obviously um you know we even have them here in the u.s it's not about the majority but if the majority don't speak out against this stuff things bad things will happen if you speak out for things then others will speak out for you exactly so if you are against these radicals you know but you're for your country you know like she said she's an american then you need to talk about being proud to be an american you know and speaking against the radicals so that people see you know Unfortunately, a lot of people only see the radical stuff, yeah. only see the bad things later. They don't see the peaceful majority. And that's what you need to bring the limelight out. There is a peaceful majority. You need to speak up and speak out against the the radicals. You know, yeah. not all the rules and all the things. You agree with everything, but you 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 need to support, you know, this Article 370 and 35A, even if you don't... In, you know, agree completely with Modi. Um, you want India to be one, one nation, one law, work together and make it great. It is great, but this is just going to make everybody have equal and better. And you need to get behind it and support it and speak out against these, yeah. um, you know, radicals. Speak out against the bad you stuff. Don't, nobody's going to speak out for you. Right. If People don't say, you know, this is this is happening. This is not supposed to be happening and let's stop it. Then nobody's going to be there for you if you stay quiet. So you need the the peaceful majority needs to be loud. That's my answer right there. And I found this quote, which was um, I remember it after we used to live in Boston and they have a Holocaust monument there. And we used to go there and walk through it. And it's um, very heart-wrenching to see. But this quote is one of my favorite quotes. And this is perfect for what she was saying. Um, First, they came for the communists. And I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialists. And I did not speak out because I wasn't a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I was not a trade unionist. So they did not speak out. Then they came for the Jews, and I was not a Jew, so I did not speak out. Then they came for me, and there was no one left. To speak out for me. Yeah. So, speak out and support your country. And the majority, the peaceful majority, needs to be loud and strong. And let people know how it really is. 
So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below. Because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.